In this video, we're gonna look at a feature of the local adjustment tools in Lightroom, and it allows us to create really precise local adjustments. And this feature is range masking. Now, range masking allows us to isolate areas of our image based on either their brightness values or the colors within. And it's really useful for targeting certain parts of a photo. So if I go to my starting image here, you can see there are a few areas that need attention here. I'd like to reveal a bit more detail in this blown out area of sky at the top of the stairwell here. I'd also like to boost these nice red tones around the walls here. So I can do this by using local adjustment tools. So I'm going to grab the adjustment brush from the toolbar over here, which allows us to paint in an adjustment. And let's just minimize my uh, film strip at the bottom there. Now I'm going to start by lifting the uh, wall here. So I'm going to paint over the area with my adjustment brush. I can use the left and right square bracket keys on my keyboard to resize my brush tip as I paint. And I'm just going to quickly whiz over the area with my adjustment brush. I can hit O to view a uh, mask overlay here. This green overlay shows me exactly where I've painted. So I can just quickly go over that area until I've covered the entire wall. Now I've got a problem here in that we have obviously have this rail in front of the wall and I'd like to exclude that from my effect. So what I can do is use range masking to zero in on the color of the wall. So I can go to my range mask settings at the bottom here and change it from off to color. Now I can use this little eyedropper here and I can pick it up and then start sampling color. So let's hit O again to hide the overlay. And then I'm gonna click on the uh, wall here. And again, I'll hit O to view my overlay. So you can see now immediately, most of the rail has been excluded from my effect. So I'm able to adjust the wall without affecting the rail. I can hold shift and click on further colors if I like, if I want to include them in the mix. And I can also go to the amount slider here. Let's hit O to hide the overlay again. And I can adjust the amount slider while holding Alt. And now you can see we have this black and white view here that shows me exactly what's being included. So the white areas are included and the black areas are excluded. And we can of course, fine tune things by painting with our adjustment brush again. So I can just uh, deselect the eyedropper, then I can hold Alt and paint to subtract areas. So I just might want to subtract this top area here, just to be a little bit more precise and uh, perhaps subtract these areas over the, the stairs in the front here. So now I've targeted that wall I can start adjusting it. So I'll hit O to hide my overlay again. Then I'll go up to my adjustment settings here and I'll just double click any existing sliders to reset them. And I'd like to boost the saturation of the wall slightly and also perhaps shift it towards magenta a touch with the tint slider here. Let's just maybe lift it slightly with the exposure slider here. And uh, that's too far. Let's bring that back a little bit and perhaps add a touch of noise reduction because I can see there's some slightly grainy noise in the shadows there. So hopefully the noise reduction here will combat that. So that's my initial adjustment. If I go and turn off the little uh, switch here, we can see that's my image before and that's after. So I've just lifted the tones on the wall there. In fact, we could perhaps push it even slightly further. So let's just push exposure slightly more. And I'm happy with that. Now I'd like to also adjust the uh, circular area here, the sky at the top of the stairwell. And I'm gonna do that by making a new adjustment. So I'm gonna to go to the top here of my adjustment brush settings and click new, and then again, paint over the area. So again, I can hit O to view my uh, mask overlay like this. And I just quickly whiz over that area. And instead of trying to be too precise, I can again use range masking. This time we can go to our range mask settings and change this to luminance. And I can drag the range here. So I want to target the brightest parts of that area. So I can exclude the shadow part of the range by dragging the range uh, shadow point there across to the right. So now I've excluded the very darkest pixels from that adjustment. We can again hold Alt and drag smoothness here. And this gives us a view of... Uh, exactly what's being included or excluded. I'm not worried about sort of a, a slight fall off in my adjustment here because I think that will add to the effect. I'll hit O to hide the overlay again, go back to my range mask settings and let's try dragging down on exposure slightly. Let's boost saturation slightly. And also let's perhaps try uh, dragging temperature across to the uh, left here to add a nice blue 
tint to that area to make it look like sky. And after making those adjustments, we might want to go back in and tweak our range mask settings so I can just tweak things to make sure I'm zeroing in on those brightest parts of the uh, adjustment. Now I'd also like to tone down these slightly blown out areas on the underside of the stairwell caused by using a flash here. So I'm gonna make a new adjustment again and paint over the area once more using my adjustment brush. Let's hit O again to view our mask. And we don't need to be too precise with our painting because we can of course use range mask again. So let's go back to our range mask settings again. I'm gonna use luminance this time. And uh, again, I'm gonna drag the range across to the right here so that I'm targeting the brightest parts of that area without affecting the shadows. And again, with that done, I'll hit O to hide the mask overlay. And again, I can just double click any existing sliders to reset them. And let's perhaps just knock down the highlights and also the exposure slightly, just to claw back a bit more detail in those blown out areas. And if I toggle off all of those adjustments again and toggle them all back on, you can see how with the help of the range masking command, we're able to create some really precise local adjustments and enhance our image.